Conducting the Future. Our interview series starts from the question which ecological, political or social responsibilities conductors see included in their work today. You know, conducting is a job for a man. Or is it? Conducting is authority without compromise. Or is it? I believe conductors can even more become community leaders. I think one central thing is to become community musicians, to become teaching artists and to become connected to communities, different communities, and to um, have a vision of uh, serving those communities and enabling experiences uh, for, those, uh, for those communities. And how far has a conductor's engagement changed since Herbert van Karajan's era? And how do conductors of today see the future of their profession? As I looked around, as my career developed and grew, I expected that I would see a lot more women in the field. And, you know, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years went past, and the numbers were very similar. And so I thought that I needed to at least put a stake in the ground and say, okay, if, if I don't do something, who really is going to try to change this landscape? Can the answer to all be found in the music, or is that a naive attempt? One very important thing is time management and communication. Um, find a way that you can put across a message where everyone is going to understand it, and everyone is going to, to either accept it or be able to comment on it and comment musically. From what point in one's career is a conductor in the position or even has the responsibility to influence our society? We're not living in a different world. We live in this world. And so it's clear that we, we think about this world and, and possibly and are simply as a member of society maybe a quite exposed member of society, uh, we share our thoughts in a Beethovenian sense. Maybe we try to try to also make the world a little bit better with music. Conducting the future.